Each verse is every, a duel of English quantifiers. Hello language learners! Today we're diving into a really important topic in English grammar. The usage of the words each and every. You might think they're interchangeable, and often they are, but there are some nuances that make each one unique. So, let's explore these two titans of the English language. First, let's look at what these two words have in common. Both each and every are used when we want to talk about all the members of a group or category. They give us a way to discuss multiple things or people at once. For example, in the sentence, each student needs to bring their own notebook, or every student needs to bring their own notebook, the words each and every are used to refer to all the students in a group. Even though they have a lot in common, each and every aren't always interchangeable. Let's see how they differ. The use of each. We use each when we want to individualize the members of a group. It's like putting a spotlight on each member and recognizing them as a separate entity. When we say each student presented a different idea, we're indicating that all students considered individually presented different ideas. The use of every. On the other hand, we use every when we are considering the group as a whole. It's about the entire group, not individual members. For example, if we say every student presented a different idea, it gives a sense of the group as a whole presenting a variety of ideas, even though it's still true that each one had a different idea. It's also important to note that each can come before the subject or after the subject, while every usually only comes before the subject. For example, we can say each student has a book or the students each have a book. But we can only say every student has a book. And there you have it, folks. A deeper look at the words each and every. Remember, each individualizes, and every generalizes. We hope that this video has been helpful, and you're now more confident in distinguishing between these two quantifiers. Keep practicing and remember, every language learning journey is unique. Keep up the great work, and see you in the next video.